Hi guys, this is Vijay and I hope you are doing well. In this video lecture, we will prove that entropy is a property of system. In previous lecture, we have already discussed the concept of entropy. Entropy means it is the disorderness of the process. And in this, uh, and in this video lecture, we will prove that it is a property of system. Let us start. Let us consider a system undergoing a reversible process from state 1 to state 2 along a path L and then from state 2 to the original state 1 along path M. We know that to describe the state in thermodynamic we require the minimum 2 property and property means it is the characteristic of the substance. Okay, So here we describe the state 1 by 2 property P1, V1. And uh, to describe the state 2, uh, here we are uh, considering two property P2, V2. Okay. So, uh, here we are considering two state for any reversible uh, cycle, 1 and 2. Okay. And uh, we know that uh, according to the Clausius theorem, the cyclic integration of delta Q by T equal to 0. And it is applicable for reversible cycle. So, uh, in this case, we are considering reversible cycle. So, here we can apply the Clausius theorem. Hence, when the system passes through the cycle 1, L, 2, M1, we have uh, applied the Clausius theorem. So, the lower limit is uh, 1 and upper limit is 2. And uh, whenever it will follow the path L, so we can write uh, 1L to 2 delta Q by T plus the process achieve the initial or original state. Uh, along the path M. So, here we are considering uh, 2 to 1, lower limit is 2, uh, upper limit is 1 because uh, uh, the return path is 2 to 1 and uh, it will follow the path M. So, here we can write uh, the limit is, limit of integration is 2M to 1 delta Q by T equal to 0. Similarly, now we consider the reversible process in which the system changes from state 1 to state 2 along the same path L but returns from state 2 to the original state 1 along a different path N. So in first case we are considering the path is return path is M but here we are considering the return path is N instead of M. So similarly here we can also apply the Clausius theorem for reversible process. This is uh, our previous equation uh, for this cycle. Uh, the lower limit is uh, 1 and the upper limit is 2. Okay, at that time uh, the forward path is L. So here we are considering lower limit is 1L and upper limit is 2 delta Q by T. And uh, the return path is 2 to 1. At that time it will follow the path N. So the lower limit is 2N to 1 delta Q by T equal to 0. Whenever we follow the path M uh, at that time uh, we are getting equation 1 and whenever uh, the cycle will follow the return path N at that time we are getting equation 2. Subtract equation 1 from equation 2 we have. So here you can see that in equation 1 and equation 2 the first term is common. So whenever we subtract equation 1 from equation 2 so at that time this is cancel out so the simplified solution is uh, limit uh, 2m to 1 delta q by t minus limit 2n to 1 delta q by t equal to 0 now here you can see that it is a negative sign and this left hand side term whenever it is shifted to right hand side at that time it will become positive so the simplified term is limit 1 to 2m delta q by t equal to limit 1 to 2 and delta q by t. Both are equal. So whenever it will follow the m path or n path, it will not depend on path because uh, the integration term value is common or same for both the path. So as no restriction is imposed on the path L and m that they must be reversible. The quantity delta Q by T is a function of the initial and final state of the system and is independent of the path of the process. Hence, it represents a property of the system because we know that properties only depend on state. It is not depend on path. So, here we prove that 
entropy is independent of the path followed it is only depend on initial and final state so it is a property of the system thank you friends for watching this video